<laughs> this is Dorky Diggity Dave on the set giving you a little a little lesson on frame by frame animation because you just learned about frames and you're going to learn about tweens but you gotta learn the hard way before you learn the easy way so not really there's a there's a few types of animation inside of Flash and the first one that we're going to talk about is frame by frame because the tweening really can't do everything that you want it to do. Um, so let me turn this off. That's not supposed to be on. Um, so we learned about frames. We learned about keyframes and how keyframes make a change. So I'm going to start here with a little character that we're going to call Blue Flash Dude. And uh, I'm going to have him walk in. And uh, over here, just do a little quick walk cycle. OK. Um, he has no arms because I want to make it quick. Now, if I wanted to make a new one of these, um, putting a keyframe, yeah, I guess it kind of works, um, but then I have to go back and make changes to this particular copy, and I don't want to do that. I'd rather just draw a brand new one, okay? So now we don't see anything, and there's really no way to tell where I drew it except if I were to back up and take a look. Now, Flash introduces something called onion skinning, where if you onion skin, it's kind of like in those old Disney specials where they're flipping through the pages of traditional animation so you can see what the pictures look like before so that you can put one sheet on top of it and trace it. So it's basically emulating that. Now, here I'm going to uh, draw another guy. And I'm going to straighten him up and uh, have his legs cross over because he's about to walk. And I don't mind the... No, well, let me take that out because I don't want that there. There we go. Nice and gone. And uh, I'm going to add in a third one. I press F7. It's going to add in the third one. And I'm just going to put a circle here. And I'm going to draw his body and draw the walk cycle. So he's ready to walk. He's kind of walking across. See how I can see that? Now, I'm just going to take it a little step further and add some more frames in between by pressing F5. I want two in each way. And the reason why I'm adding two is because I want two frames in between each keyframe that I put. Okay, so I'm going to put a blank keyframe here. And the reason why I'm doing that also is because it's 24 frames per second, and that's a lot of pictures to draw in a tutorial. So I am going to uh, give this guy a little bit of swag. I'm going to have him dip down a little bit into his walk, a little bit. Bended knee action, straight from boys to men. He's down on bended knee, I guess. Whatever. Um, so he's going to come down a little bit. And uh, boom, boom. He's going to come up. And over here, I'm going to have him come up a little bit. A little higher than normal. Because he's a proud stepper. And have him step nice and long. And have that leg ready, about to drop. There he goes. He's just stepping it up. Look at that. So you can see how frame by frame works. Now, again, not everything works with shape, teen, twi shape tweens and motion tweens. So sometimes you have to do a little bit of improv with, um, with some frame by frame. Now, if I were to test this movie, control enter. He just kind of looks like he's walking forward and starting right back over again. So what we want to do, at least to make it a, an in-place walk cycle, unless you want to have him walk all the way across, um, I'm going to take each one of these and just kind of back it up into place. So this way it looks like he's walking in place and he's got a little bit of a bounce step in there he must be happy he must have got a just must have just got a paycheck i think to ching very nice so that's some of your basics for frame by frame animation so stay cool stay dorky and remember becoming a dork is a simple few lessons away so keep practicing